Hi everyone. Got a bit of different footage for you today. I've just fitted a new scope to my rifle. That was the old scope that I've just taken off. Nothing wrong with that scope at all, but I have a scope cam on the back. As you can see that's looking down target there and recording. Here's my RM8. Normally I would be shooting AA fields in 5.51mm, 2.2 calibre, but because I've run out of those, I'm now going to be shooting Acupel FTs, simply because I've got some. Here's the new scope. I'll put a video together of how to fit a new scope to a rifle and how to set it up so that it is actually parallel, by vertical and horizontal. Let me just set this camera down here a moment and I'll put a new target onto the target holder. It's a very murky day today and what's happening is that these card targets are absorbing moisture out of the air and they're actually uh, drooping and folding over so I might have to take this video a bit faster than normal but there's the target there's the target camera now I, I have no idea where this new scope is zeroed at and it's no good me shooting at 30 meters expecting the scope to be perfect if that scope is out by a few millimeters at the shooting point and the chances are it will be absolutely miles out when it shoots down range. So all I'm going to do is take a few shots at 10 meters and make sure I can zero the scope at 10 meters shooting downhill towards the ground. So let's give it a go. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. We'll see. Let's give it a go. I'm not sure this camera is going to be any good there. Let me see if I can move it. Let's see if we can put it a little closer so we can see the rifle. Here we go, we'll put it there. A little bit of jiggery popery and see what we can do. I still have to move this tripod because it's in the way of my chair. Oop. We'll leave it there and see how we get on. Might not bother with this video footage because I have a camera downrange. I also have a spotting scope looking at the target so Pull this back a little bit and we'll see how we get on at 10 meters. I'm going to set the the scope at its minimum distance at the moment, zoom at six times zoom, just so that I can aim at that target. Doesn't look too bad at the moment. Put the rifle back a little bit more. What can this camera see? Have I lost it? No. Turn this camera. Let's go a little bit. There we go. Oh, let's put a magazine in. And see where the rifle's shooting. I'll take the covers off the turret. Because this is no doubt going to need adjusting. As I say, it's no good shooting at 30 meters if you don't know where the scope is zeroed. So let's put the first pellet into that target to take you off. At the moment, the scope actually won't focus perfectly 
that 10 meters. Let me just move this microphone again. Typical problem. Microphone. It's strapped around my neck. I'm wearing a coat because it's cold. It's damp, it's horrible. So let's just put it, try putting the first shot into the bullseye of that 10 meter target. And as you can tell, that went way low. See that? Let's try another one. Just to make sure. Still aiming at the bullseye. And as you can see, those pellets are going through the same hole. But they're actually uh, going very low. So we'll adjust the turret slightly. I don't know if this camera can see this, but let me just turn this camera around so you can see what I'm doing with the scope. What we need to do is to bring that up. So because it's quite low at 10 meters, I'm going to take it up by six clicks. One, two, three, four. Five, six. And we'll put another pellet into it. Oops, sorry, I'll just keep that camera. Have another go. Again, this is the bullseye. As you can see, it's come up slightly. And at 10 meters will take this up quite significantly. So we'll just turn this turret now quite severely and try it again. Once again, bullseye of that paper target. As you can see, the, uh, the pellet is coming up. So we'll give it a really big turn. There have been times when I've had to shim the scope at the back or the front because it won't zero. Oops. Seems to be going okay so far. Let me just move this microphone again. This microphone, the Pell microphone really is a pain in the bum. We'll put it on the tinted pallets again. Right then. Same shot again, bullseye. Now that is not too bad at all. The rifle is canted slightly, so this time I'll make sure the rifle is centered. Um, I've got an anti camp bubble on the top, so let's just try that 10 meter center again. Straight through the same hole, I believe. make sure it is shooting reasonably accurate. In the scope this is slightly out of focus because as I say this scope won't focus at this close distance. What I'm going to aim for is the number three in the red circle at the top. And that's pretty close apart from the fact that I've just broken one of Mrs. Team Can's plants. Oh dear me. I'm not going to go at that one. Windage is probably an absolute fraction off, but I can adjust that shortly. We'll have a go at the number two in the white circle at the top. And as you can tell, that windage is very slightly off, so we'll adjust the windage to the left slightly. So we'll take this uh, four clips to the left. I'll put another magazine in. That one's empty. And what I'll aim at now is Mr. Bisley on the right hand side at the top of the target. See that little icon of Mr. Bisley? I'm going to try and shoot at that. Now that is not too bad. Windage is probably 
the touch too much, so let's just take it back a fraction to the right. One click. Now let's try Mr. Bisley on the left. Got this icon of Mr. Bisley on the left top of the target. I can't complain at that. I think that is pretty well zero to ten meters now. And by doing this, at least you know that you're pretty well zeroed at ten meters. You can take it out then to 15, 20, 25, 30 meters, knowing that that pellet is not going to go that far astray, that it's going to miss absolutely everything. I'm going to have a go at what shall we try? On the bottom right hand of the target, there are three letters. I can't see them through this scope because it won't focus, but I can see it. The very bottom right hand side, I'm going to try to put a letter a pellet through those three letters. I would say that is pretty well zeroed at 10 metres, and I'm quite happy with that. So, there's how to set up a new scope that you don't know where it was originally zeroed at and you don't even know where it's going to fire. There's no point shooting at a distance too far away because you will have no idea where the pellets are going. But, I hope that's explained how I zero my scope. Thanks for watching.